In this video, I will provide you with what I would consider to be the simplest way to design a multi-unit apartment complex. And that would be by using the same apartment layouts and if possible, the same width. However, the same width won't always be necessary. And in our example here, we have a one bedroom apartment and a two bedroom apartment. And if you notice, the living rooms are the same along with the kitchen and the bathroom. I simply extended this wall here a little bit further and then redesigned it to add another bedroom. And then we can start mixing and matching. So in this example here, we have a two bedroom apartment at each end of the building and our two one bedroom apartments in the middle to create a fourplex. And I would like to point out a mistake with this design. And that would be that you don't want your bedroom in one apartment next to a living room in another apartment. Because a loud sound system or television could make it difficult for the person in the next unit to fall asleep with. And of course, another option would be to switch things up with the two bedroom units in the center and the one bedroom units at both ends. And of course, all we need to do is reverse the plans to have the bedrooms next to each other. So I simply flipped this unit upside down and then did the same over here. And the beauty of keeping the kitchens and the bathrooms the same is that you're going to be able to order all of the same cabinets and fixtures. So keep that in mind also. And in some cases, you're going to be able to order the same windows and interior doors also. The main point I want to drive home here is that you're going to be able to calculate most materials and labor costs for one unit. So you're going to know exactly how much it costs to build the one bedroom apartment and the two bedroom apartment. Meaning that if you have a 20 unit apartment complex, your job just became a lot easier estimating the cost of the project. And of course, an example of a long rectangular shaped building with a gable roof versus something that might have hips and valleys in it. If you pop out a section of the building because you're going to change the width or shape of one of those units. And I would also like to point out that the roofer's job is going to be a little harder and you could end up with a few roof leaks if you have a design like this one versus this one. And if you need to, you could always rearrange the floor plans. And that might include something like this, depending upon the shape of your property. And we will wrap this video up with the final design here. And again, we have two bedroom apartments on the outside, one bedroom apartments on the inside. And our bedrooms that might require the least amount of noise are facing away from the center of the apartment building where you might have a little more noise. That is, of course, unless there's a busy street on the outside. However, I have rarely came across an apartment unit where the living room faced the outside and the bedrooms were on the inside at the end units. And I spent about five years remodeling large apartment complexes, so I've seen quite a few. However, I wouldn't presume to suggest that you need to do it my way. Do it the best way you feel for your project.